Our keynote speaker today is Bob Davies. Are you ready for this? Can you change your point of view? Is it true, if it's true, that the only difference of elite performers is the way that they think, the point of view they share in common, then can you change your point of view so that your point of view results in healthy living, so that your point of view results in financial prosperity, so that your point of view results in wonderful relationships? Can you change your point of view? Let me tell you something. I'm proof you could change your point of view. An expert in the field of human potential, and that's why he's known as the performance coach. He's also the author of several books, multiple CD albums, and DVDs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Bob Davies. Put blinders on. And for the next 50 minutes or so, I'm going to ask you to think of an area of your life that you would like to improve. And keep that area in mind as I give you this behavioral presentation. There's going to be one takeaway. I've, I've simplified this one takeaway. This one takeaway is a behavioral dynamic that you didn't have when you walked in the room that you will have when I'm finished with this 50 minute presentation. Pop Davies was incredible. I, he said some things that made me really think about what I do with respect to coaching and how I can actually coach myself. I really had a great time. I'm looking forward to really doing what he mentioned today. And I'd like to start by sharing an, an example that I have as a pilot. I'm gonna tell you about the first time I was gonna be in the clouds by myself without an instructor. It was forecast to be a thousand foot ceiling. What this means is at a thousand feet, 100% of the sky is covered with clouds. This is gonna be my first time in the clouds by myself without an instructor. I was bringing my marketing person with me and I told my marketing person, I'm gonna be a little bit busy on this trip. I won't be able to talk to you much. The translation is, this is my first time in the clouds by myself, good luck clear for takeoff. So I get center line, I get full power, I'm at lift off speed, I pull back, I get the wheels up, make some adjustments, getting out the two 500, getting hazy 800. At a thousand feet, it's like someone put a blanket over my eyes at a thousand feet. This is what it looks like. Let's take a closer look right in there. This is it. This is what I see at a thousand feet. And I want to tell you that I was absolutely terrified. I was so afraid that my legs were shaking like this hysterically on the rudder pedals. I didn't dare look at my passenger because I didn't want to see what my passenger looked like looking at the pilot freaking out. <laughs> and I remember my thinking was, I'm either going to do this or I'm going to die. When I'm in the clouds like this, I, I can't trust my perception. I snap a finger, make a fist, and pull out a scarf. See how that works? Just fine, right? I'm going to make that scarf disappear. Make a fist, and I'm tucking it into my fist. It's not going in my sleeves, in my ring, in my watch. The scarf is going, going, and you can see the scarf has disappeared. I, I show you my hands are empty. Raise a hand if the truth for you is my hands are empty. Raise a hand if you see empty hands. Let me see. Raise a hand if you see empty hands. So you can't trust your interpretation of what you see. I know it looks like my hands are empty, but I'm wearing what's called the Brene thumb tip. This is how this is done. Inside of the thumb tip is the scarf, right there. I sell these on my website for 10 bucks, includes the scarf. So just make sure that you practice because this is a dead giveaway. My hands are empty. What's, what's that? Now I'm about ready to make a major point. I show you this time that my hands are empty. What's the only thing you see? sticks out like a sore thumb. The point is, reality isn't what's different. The environment isn't what's different. The marketplace isn't what's different. What's different is what you're paying attention to. Who would you say your biggest competitor is to reaching your goals? It's fear of change. Where in your life are you living in resignation, believing that you're doing the best that you can be doing given these circumstances? And I want to emphasize, don't buy into that. You have far more capacity to create the circumstances and events in your life than you are aware of. What I need to give you is access to it. A unique presence. He's an excellent speaker. As an accountant, I like it because there's accountability. I can't just go home and say, that was a neat program, and on Monday turn around and forget about it. It's the attitude. It's the commitment. It's the activities. It's the accountability. When we coach that, we won two conference championships. We maximized the expression of the talent that we had. 
98.8% identical genetic coding between a human being and a chimpanzee. But look at the significant difference in the outcome. A small difference, significant outcome. Hi, my name is Pinky Sullivan. I am with Kaiser Permanente, the Colorado region. We just finished an incredible uh, event with Bob Davies. We hired Bob uh, to speak to our brokers who are in the top 5% of sales. This event was amazing and wonderful. Bob spoke to us about performance and how we get in our own way of achieving our goals. If you have not heard him talk, it is a must for any performer that you have in any industry and in any category. Good evening, my name is Richard Gio. I'm the President and CEO of Business Alliance Financial Services, LLC in Monroe, Louisiana. We are a leading credit union service organization in the United States, and we asked Bob Davies to become our keynote speaker at our conference in New Orleans this year. Great content, great uh, response from our crowd, and we will definitely have Bob Davies back again. If you need Bob to come in and do your keynote speak or any part of your conference, I highly recommend it. Thank you very much.